Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a request for a video and I actually didn't plan on making this, which is weird for me because I generally, if I have a new pen, I will show it off. Um, but I did an eco, to be eco update video and that is coming online in a while. I still have to edit it. And the pen is featured in there. So I was like, eh, I won't do uh, a snapshot of it. But I guess people are interested, so I am going to do a snapshot of the Twisby Eco Smoke Rose Gold. And this is the box. I love these boxes. They're so much nicer than the regular ones. Um, and of course, I have the pen right here. Um, and I'm going to give you some close-up shots of it. Uh, and I'll compare it to the white one um, so you can see the difference. Um, and I'll try to be, I'll try to like capture on camera how this is sort of clear and not opaque. All right, let's go. So it's a shot. All right, here we have the Smoke Rose Gold Twisby Eco. We're working with artificial light because it is a dreary day. I'm turning down the lamp a little bit because it is um, some bright ass lighting right there. Um, and this is a Twisby Eco. It looks like a Twisby Eco. Um, and it is not that much different from a regular Twisby Eco. Um, the trimming is different. Um, and um, of course it's a special edition color. Um, the cap has a different, slightly different kind of logo. Um, it is like metally instead of just a plastic top. Don't have a regular eco here for you, but most of you will know what that looks like. And then the trims are rose gold, which is, of course, a big fad right now. And I must say, I fall for it every time because I love it. And I love the way it looks, um, how it's slightly warmer than the silver. Um, I'm not a big fan of regular uh, gold trim, although I, some pens look good with it, um, but this rose gold finish is very pretty. So the ring at the uh, at the piston knob is rose gold, the cap band is rose gold, the clip is rose gold, um, but here the piston mechanism is just black. Um, and then you also have a rose gold nib. Now, because we are working with artificial lighting, it might be a little harder to see. Um, I'll try it and see if, I turn it down it gets easier to see um, oh yeah that might be better actually so you can see the nib is rose gold it is the regular Twisby nib like it's not a different kind of nib they just coated it differently and um, made it look quite nice um, yeah and so with this pen this is a smoke rose gold and that means that the cap and the piston knob are not opaquely black. They are sort of see-through, but it's very hard to capture on camera. Um, but it is true, maybe with the cap, it is easier to see that it is somewhat translucent. So it is not super translucent. And when you hit certain lights, it looks opaque. And when you hit other types of lights, it is actually quite translucent. I'm turning up the lighting again to see if you can see that better with more light, but not really. But there is there is opaqueness and of course I somehow scratched it already, but I use my pens. It is very hard to see on camera and honestly it is not that easy to see in real life. Um, it does look very nice. It's just a slightly different finish than the regular black one. Um, you can see the nib kind of through the cap right there, which is nice. And all in all, it is a good pen. Like, it's a fun pen to use, um, but it is still just a Twisby Eco, you know. Um, I got a medium nib on mine, and I love Ecos. You guys know that. I have it inked with Sailor. Is it Sailor? I think it is. Okuyama. And it's a good nib. The The coating on this one doesn't seem to affect the nib performance at all. 
Um, I also grabbed the white one, which is the white counterpart. I don't know why they did um, the white with rose gold and then they made it a smoke black. Um, it would have been fun to see a regular black and a regular white next to each other. Like that is the normal lineup. Um, and like these are just their rose gold counterparts. Yeah. So how do they look next to each other? They're a nice duo. I do wish that the the smoke rose gold was a little more like less opaque. Um, but that's my only commentary. Well, not my only commentary. These pens, a regular Eco is like thirty dollars, and these are more expensive. So in Europe, I pay a thirty-five euros for a regular Eco, and then now I pay sixty euros for this Eco. Um, that is not the most I spent on an Eco because I have the Golden Horse um, Eco and that one was 109 so it is not the worst but it's also not great because it's just it is just rose gold trim and nothing else anyway that was my snapshot it is a nice pen I wish um, the, the cap and the piston up were a little more translucent but if you like a dark looking pen with a little touch of translucency go for it um, if you want um, an opaque pen I think you should also go for it because it does, in most lighting, it looks fairly opaque. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down below um, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.